Guys today I will show you every second C accessory, how to get it and its buffs, and rank them as well. So after watching this video you will know exactly what accessories you should use to grind and PvP like a pro in the second C. Today's shoutouts go to these guys. If you want a shoutout in the next video just leave a like and tell me in the comments down below your favorite second C accessory. Top hat is a boss drop that you can get by defeating Sea Beast. You have about 25% chance to get it every time you defeat a Sea Beast. So it's not that difficult to get it. And the buffs are plus 3% melee damage minus 10% universal cooldown reduction plus 10% damage reduction against swords. It looks like this. It's not anything special so overall nice accessory. Black spiky coat is accessory that you get from a boss as well, and the boss that dropped the black spiky coat is called Jeremy. He is located at the Kingdom of Rose Island here at this mountain. There he is. The drop chance of this accessory is 5%. Oof. Anyways, the buffs plus 7.5% damage on all attacks plus 200 health plus 200 energy. It's really good for grinding so if you have it make sure to use it. Also this is how it looks like. Choppa is another accessory that you can get from a sea beast. You have around 25% chance to get it every time you defeat a sea beast. If you want me to make a video how to farm sea beasts fast make sure to leave a comment down below. This is how the accessory looks like. Plus 3% more damage on blocks fruit attacks minus 15% cooldown reduction on blocks fruit attacks plus 10% defense against blocks fruit attacks. So it's really good for fruit main users. Warrior Helmet is obtained by completing Colosseum Quest. In order to start this quest you have to be over level 850 and then talk to this Bartillo NPC here at the cafe. He will ask you to defeat some enemies which is really easy but a bit time consuming. And after you complete that head over to the Colosseum. Here click these buttons in this order. After you do that these prisoners will be free and you will be granted this warrior helmet accessory. It gives 12.5% more damage on melee slash sword attacks and 5% cooldown reduction on melee slash sword attacks. So this accessory is really fun to obtain and it's pretty good. You can get Zebra Cap by defeating Order Boss in his raid. Now if you don't know how to start this raid just come to Half Hot Half Cold Island and follow where I go. So here is his room. But in order to start it you need a special chip. Here enter this. Talk to this guy and he will sell the chip to you for 1k fragments. And after you buy the chip go back to the order raid room and start the raid normally. So order boss has 100% drop chance of zebra hat if you deal at least 10% damage to him. This is how it looks like. Plus 100 health plus 500 energy plus 10% damage on sword attacks minus 15% cooldown reduction on blocks fruit attacks. Really cool accessory. You can get these two coats at the cursed ship by defeating cursed captain boss. The chances of getting these two coats are low considering the fact that this boss has 50% chance of spawning every night. Here the cursed captain spawns. This is how the coats look like. They also have similar buffs. Blue spiky coat, plus 500 energy plus 250 health plus 7.5% defense on all attacks. Red spiky coat, plus 250 energy plus 500 health plus 7.5% damage buff. So these are overall really powerful accessories and I recommend you to get them. If you're a Buddha user, combining this with a ghoul race is a winning combination. That's because the health regeneration that you will get is really fast because of the life leech ability that you have. And you can get this ghoul mask here at the cursed ship. You just need to grind out 50 ectoplasm which is really easy. You have a high chance of getting an ectoplasm every time you kill any enemy on this cursed ship. You can check how many ectoplasms you have in your items inventory. After you do that come to this El Perro NPC and he will sell you the ghoul mask. This is how it looks like. Plus 35% run speed 500 energy plus 10% life leech on players plus 2.5% life leech on NPCs when using melee attacks. I can easily say that this is the accessory that I use the most in my blocks fruits journey. So I really highly recommend you to get it. Dark Coat is a mythical accessory that you can get from Darkbeard Boss. You need to be level 1000 and you need a Fist of Darkness in order to spawn him. 
You can get a fist of darkness from a chest but the chance is really low. A better way of obtaining it is by defeating a sea beast. When you get it go to the dark arena and place it in the middle. I got really lucky. Now let me spawn it. The chance of getting it is only 2% so rip. This is how it looks like. Plus 15% blocks fruit damage plus 600 health and 600 energy. It's really powerful accessory but it's really hard to get. The best accessory at the second sea are swan glasses. You can get them at the kingdom of rose up here. Here you can find a door that will lead you to the swan boss from which you can get the swan glasses. In order to open this door you have to give this Trevor a fruit that is worth more than 1 million pelly. After you do that this door will open. Here is the swan. The drop chance is 2.5%. Oof. This is how the accessory looks like. Plus 25% movement speed plus 8% damage on all attacks minus 8% cooldown on all moves plus 8% defense against all attacks plus 250 health plus 250 energy. So that's why it's the best accessory in the second C. If you get it you're pretty lucky. Guys keep in mind that this ranking list is based on my opinion so if you have a different list make sure to leave it in the comments down below. So thank you so much for watching and see you soon.